Okay. Oh, man, I look like a lion. Hey guys, <laughs> frog in my throat. Okay, so you might notice that I look a little bit different today. Yes, I am wearing glasses. Yes, I realize that my eyes have shrunk about 10 times smaller. I actually have really 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 bad vision so when I put glasses on um I guess with the type of prescription that I have my glasses or my eyes end up looking a lot smaller on the other side so basically um yeah I'm in my glasses today because we're talking about favorites and this is actually one of my favorites this month is my new glasses I have not bought new glasses in almost five years something like that I'm a contact wearer and I never really like I don't wear my glasses that much because the glasses that I wanted that I thought were really cute were a expensive and I thought well if I'm gonna buy glasses that I don't think are that cute I'm not gonna wear them very often and then BA also a separate issue as I got so used to my contacts that when I put glasses on like my depth perception kind of changes so Recently, I got new glasses from a site called Coastal.com. These are my new glasses. And I was so excited because they actually were the same price as glasses that I have previously gotten in the past, except these are Ray-Ban. I think they're called Wayfarers. I'm not like trendy enough to know the name. I just know that I was like, oh, those are kind of in style. I like those. Um, so I got these. I love them. Like I said, it is still harder for me with glasses because I don't think, because my prescription is so bad. I mean, I'm like really really bad guys like if I hold my fingers in front of my face I can't see how many fingers are there um because my prescription is so bad I still feel like when I put them on they just change my look so much because it changes my eye shape but for being glasses I'm in love with these I feel like super like hipster and trendy but on the flip side if I am acting a little different in this video you're like you're not quite fully Nikki it is because I'm like a little like oh my gosh you guys are seeing me in my glasses um just because I'm not I'm not used to it on a normal everyday basis so but these are my first favorites of the month I feel like that was a very 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 long intro I'm gonna link the site down below if you are needing new glasses and you have a budget you might be able to get nicer more expensive pairs for the same price you might buy in your hometown because they have a ton of designer glasses for a lot cheaper on there and they have contacts and stuff like that too but anyways moving on this month's favorite is full of a lot of random favorites like this the next one is um i actually purchased the jewel mint xoxo rings my crooked little pinkies um can you even see them or does it all go out of focus up close i think they're so delicate and beautiful and i just really like them they're really 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 my style um so yeah i really like them the next favorite is another jewelry favorite and it is I feel like I'm like speeding through this and sounding like a robot so yes um the next favorite is actually this necklace a friend of mine on YouTube Rachel she's the girl that I did the skincare video with um she had this necklace and it's just a name necklace I don't know if you guys can see it says Nicole can you see that so yeah um and I have been wanting one but I know that they're pretty expensive and I found my name necklace my name necklace on eBay for not that much money so I ended up getting it through there and I absolutely am in love with it I wanted a name necklace for a really long time so let's move on to beauty favorites okay the first beauty favorite I have you were going to be seeing well two out of these two of these will be in upcoming skincare videos but I've discovered them this month and they're now part of my like routine I really really love them the first one is the Alchemy Forever facial mask I I think I told you guys in a video did I No, I don't this is my first time mentioning it um this mask is amazing if you are someone who suffers with dry skin it's amazing because it's kind of multi-purpose it is a mask and when you take it off your skin is left so hydrated but it's also something that you can kind of scoop a little and put it in your moisturizer at night and put it on your face and it really like locks in the moisture um it's kind of pricey but you need hardly any I've been using it all the time and it's still full and it smells like blueberries ah, just rammed in my face which is a really big positive um it smells really really good I don't know this this mask is incredible um I've been using this for spots because it is a sulfur based mask and sulfur is amazing on breakouts and I really really like this like it really attacks the breakout and I don't know I don't really have anything else to say about it other than it works 
really, really well. The next thing, I've had this in a favorites before and I've recently rediscovered my love for it, and it is the Bobbi Brown Stick Concealer in 00 Alabaster. If you are fair skinned like me and you have a very hard time finding concealers that match your skin, this is amazing. This is the only concealer I have actually ever worn that matches my exact skin color. Um, I love my Kevin Aquan concealer. It's much heavier duty coverage. Like this, it's like sheer, t it's like medium coverage. It's not full, full coverage, but it's more, more, like you can really just use it everywhere. I don't know. It's awesome. Um, but the Kevin Aquan, I have to be wearing foundation and I have to use a little powder. I know that sounds really weird. You're like, well, why are you changing all the makeup on your face? But maybe you understand what I'm saying. This, if I didn't want to wear any other makeup and I just wanted to put it on my bare skin, it matches perfectly. Let me show you. You guys even see next to my skin. Like, it's amazing. Can you see that? It blends right away. So I know I was just making a really ugly face up the camera. But whatever so um yeah I love this concealer it's absolutely amazing the last and final product is my sugar lip treatment SPF 15 um, I don't really need the SPF because I almost never wear it in the daytime um, this is a really 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 expensive lip balm that I've known about this stuff for like seven years and this is only the second time I've ever purchased it because it's like $25 um, but the first time I purchased it was when I had braces and I felt like my lips were being cut and very dry and um, this is the second time because about a month ago my lips were going through like a chronic dry lip phase and it, there was nothing I could do, no lip scrubs, no amount of water, nothing could fix it so I purchased this again and I just love this stuff and I wish I was just really rich so I could just purchase it all the time and not worry about buying a $25 lip balm. But uh, it's a lot of money. But if you're looking for an amazing lip balm, this stuff is amazing amazing um you can buy it at sephora or at sugar stores uh what was i gonna say oh yeah i am taking video requests on my facebook page in the comments down below wherever if you have any specific requests anything you'd like to see go ahead and let me know down below also let me know how you like favorite videos with random things like my jewelry and uh, my glasses I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, let me know. OPS oh, Gems Maquillage. Gemma, if you're watching this, yes, I know we have twin glasses now. So, uh, anyways, okay, that's it. I will see you all next time. I'm going to go and pretend to be a scientist in my glasses. I don't know. That was a lame joke. Um, see you later. Alrighty. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. Duh. Today, you might notice I have a